According to the WHO, over 3.4 million people died due to water contamination diseases, making it globally the leading cause of death. While chemical kits can test for bacterial risks in water, they are not equally thorough, their tests are conducted infrequently, and the instruments are expensive. So people remain unaware that their water is even contaminated by lethal chemicals because information is not easily accessible. In fact, we recently discovered lead in our high school's drinking fountain and high levels of contaminants such as PFAS that can lead to harmful side effects such as, such as cancer in my hometown Pleasanton. Having worked with water conservation at a local nonprofit and been alerted to this issue, I decided to build Maji, a mobile application that harnesses the power of deep learning to computationally determine real-time water quality and provide personalized suggestions to people residing in the United States. The mobile application was coded in Swift and includes frameworks such as Chart, MapKit, and Location. It was integrated with a convolutional neural network built with the Keras library and trained on 150 input images. Maji's features currently serve three separate target audiences in the water quality field. First, it gives residents a real-time water quality estimate of their household using local testing data and machine learning. The Maji Sensor or Raspberry Pi system is an optional, low-cost component that can be purchased to give additional estimates of their tap water. Second, the water suppliers can pu push the contaminant level data to the mobile app via cloud-based adapter and place sensors in individual city pipes to push data to the mobile application via servers. Third, filter manufacturers can submit their product to be considered for recommendation to residents and water suppliers. But to stay true to its mission, Maji will only suggest these filters based on the customer's water quality and contaminant levels. To adapt Maji to our customers' needs and to gain a greater understanding of water quality awareness, we surveyed and interviewed 300 potential users from four age groups, five states, and seven countries. The subjects were asked questions assessing their current knowledge of their water quality and opinions about the app's features. It was found that only 5% were actually informed about their water quality in the last six months, meaning that there is a considerable market for Maji. Local water policy experts were also interviewed to receive feedback for the app and its features. Interviewees included the Zone 7 Board President, City of Pleasanton Mayor, Representative Eric Swabo, and Go Green Initiative CEO. In addition, this app was pitched to several competitions for grant awards and science fairs. We ran through three iterations to refine Maji in response to challenges, competitor analysis, and resident and expert feedback. For example, while programming my app, I faced difficulty with training my convolutional neural network because it was overfitting. I realized that I had to feed it more training data and switch to the neural network exception, which greatly enhanced the app's accuracy to 96.3%. Then I added features such as crowdsourcing and contaminant education in response to low percentages of people actually aware about their water quality and its implications from the surveys and interviews. In our competitive analysis, we found that there are currently 10 water quality related mobile applications on the App Store, but none of these include a machine learning component to deliver real-time water quality results, none are working towards the goal of increasing municipality water quality transparency, many cannot be used without purchasing the company's corresponding monitoring device, and they are not at all widely adopted, with all having less than 3 ratings. Maji's novel ability to determine real-time water quality using machine learning methods and providing personalized suggestions to any person residing anywhere, anytime is sufficient, easy to use, and low cost. It makes water quality data and education more accessible without need for expensive equipment like water loggers potentially saving millions of lives from water contamination diseases. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll have a glass of water. Bye. Thank you.